Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a very debatable topic, Ansible versus Terraform, right? Whether you should use Ansible for infrastructure provisioning or you should use Terraform for configuration management because uh, people say that these tools have defined roles, right? They, they should not be mixed. But uh, I'll tell you that, I mean, you can use, people are actually using Ansible for infrastructure provisioning and they do a lot of configuration management using Terraform, right? So there's no harm. Uh, but, and even if you, I have looked uh, on the internet, I mean, people talk about the differences, but they're all theoretical differences, right? So today I'll show you what exactly is the practical difference between Terraform and Ansible. And then you, it will be on you to decide whether you want to use Ansible for uh, infrastructure provisioning or you want to use Terraform for configuration management, right? So let's quickly get into that. Uh, and after this example, things would be very clear uh, uh, for you on what tool is best for you, right? So on my terminal, I actually have this playbook created, which is a very simple playbook to create EC2 instances. Region is US West, and I'm going to create five instances. And you can see I'm not uh, creating any keys or anything because I'm not going to SSH into the, these machines, right? I'm just going to create them. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so Ansible playbook create.yaml. And if we haven't done anything wrong, this should be successful quite quickly. Okay, so launch instance task is running. So let's go to our AWS console and see if this is so you can see it has started creating instances, right? So the soon once all the instances are created, I think it should mark the task. So four instances have launched and once we reach five, I think it should complete. Come on quickly do it. All right, so playbook has completed. I think we should be good over here. So we still don't see our fifth instance. One, two, three, four, four, right? Might take some time, but it will eventually come. Okay, so it's here. So we have five instances, right? So now what I'm going to do is, so I also have a Terraform template, uh, main.tf, and this is also a very simple template. Uh, this. For this, I'm using re region as US East 2. Uh, AMI ID is this, my instance type, and the count is five. So I'm launching the same number of instances, right? So let's do Terraform apply auto approve. So it has started creating instances. I'll just duplicate this tab and we'll go to US East 2. And we should be seeing some instances coming up over here. Request for access and resource in this region is manually. You will need to launch additional region. Okay, so I think this is some AWS issue. I'm not sure if my limit is there. So it only created four and then it exited out. Let's try run again. Uh, sometime, sometime it actually succeeds. So let's just run it again. This is weird. This is, I'm seeing for the first time. Now probably I'm using this region for the first time. I actually wanted to use a different region. I didn't want to use the same region. That's why I did that. But yeah, so you can see it create, started creating the fifth instance as well. Let's see if we don't get this error again. So it has created. 
All right, so we have five instances each, right? So now I have five instances created via Ansible and five instances created via Terraform. So suppose you're working in a company and you are running five instances uh, in production deployment, right? And now there's an ask from say leadership team that you want to double the number of instances, right? So say for example, you want to go from five to 10. So if you want to, if you have to do it using Ansible, right? So we'll just go into Ansible, uh, not Ansible, uh, create.yaml and we'll just go to count and we'll just change this number to 10, right? And we should be able to run this Ansible playbook again, create.yaml. And they should be launched. I mean, they should just double our instances. I mean, ideally, a con infrastructure orchestration tool should do that, right? Let's see what it does. So let's go over here, refresh. But wait a second. How many instances do we have? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten, right? Great. Let's refresh again. Now they are looking more, right? So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and ideally fifteen. So you saw what happened, right? So Ansible actually launched ten new instances. So it was not aware that I'm already running five instances in the cloud. So that's, I think, I'll not say that, right? I don't want to say that. I want you guys to come up with your inferences. What inferences do you draw from this, right? So you can see now we are running 15 instances of total when we are doing it via Ansible. Now let's go to our main.tf file and let's do the same thing. Let's make it 10, right? So what do you think? Will Terraform launch 10 new instances? Let's see. And we have some verification error. Let's try and run again. Okay, I think this is something related to the number of resources I can launch in a region. That is why it is giving me issues, but let's keep trying that. Let's see if, if it launches more instances. Otherwise, I'll just move to a different region. Now we are getting the same error, right? So let me go to this region, see if it has launched any, no, it has not. So this is our region, Ohio. I'll just remove everything, right? Why do I want to run all these instances? I just terminate these. Yeah, terminate. Go back to my main.tf. So I just need to update the AMI and region. So I'll just use my US East one region. Probably there I should have uh, the capacity, all right? And let's quickly go to US East, US East one. Okay, launch instance, easiest way to gr grab the AMI ID, right? Go over here. Let's do Terraform apply again. Did I update the provider? I hope I updated the provider with the region. Let's see, we'll find out. What? Hmm. No VPC IDO default. Okay, 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 yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so I actually need to provide some subnet ID because 
I cannot launch it in a default because I don't have a default PPC in this region because I deleted that. That's why otherwise it would have launched it in a default PPC. But since we don't have, we just need to quickly. I know I'm I'm seeing a lot. I mean I'm doing it on runtime. That's why we are seeing so many issues. Otherwise, probably if I would have just tried it myself and then did it, I wouldn't have seen any errors. But again, what's the fun in that then? So I just got a submit ID of one of my VPCs in US East, and uh, I don't want to exit now. I want to change this to five first because we wanted to launch five instances first, and then we'll launch five instances. So the first thing is that with Ansible, I'm running 15 instances, right? So first we launched five, then we updated the number to 10. So Ansible launched 10 new instances. But with uh, Terraform, we have we have yet to launch any instances. So we'll just go to EC2. And running instances. They should be coming up in some time. So it's still creating. So this is like we're going from scratch. So if we are creating first five instances. So five, one, two, three, four. Four have launched and complete and we have five instances running right so now we are at the same position that we launch five instances with ansible and five with terraform now we have already done the increment with ansible now i'm going to do it with terraform so i'm just going to make this number 10 and tell my leadership that i'm going to double the number of instances which i was clearly not able to do with ansible Ansible actually made it three times, right? It launched 10 new instances. But let's see what Terraform does. I hope we don't see any capacity issues. 10 instances should, they should be able to create 10 instances. But I remember, I mean, the default capacity was 20 instances, right? I should have been able to launch instances in Ohio, but I'm not sure. But uh, with AWS, the things are actually not very uh, transparent. I mean, sometimes you have the limit of just five instances also in some region because the other customers are actually over utilizing that region. All right, so it has started creating. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. <laughs> All right, it has. So you can see the last line, right? Resource set five added. So it has just added five resources. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are just running ten instances. What we actually wanted to do, right? What what was our requirement? But with Ansible, we were not able to do it straightforward. Not just by increasing the number. So if you're using Ansible for your infrastructure provisioning. You have to write your own logics to basically implement this functionality, which Terraform provides by default. And similarly, something goes for Terraform, right? If you're doing configuration management, you would have to write something of your own if you want to do configuration management like Ansible. And for infrastructure provisioning, I just want you guys to know that Terraform is state aware, right? Where Ansible is not, just that. This is the major difference between Ansible and Terraform. The Terraform is state aware of your infrastructure. So now it's completely on you to decide what you want to use for infrastructure provisioning, what you want to do for configuration management, right? Uh, I'm signing off for this video. I hope you guys like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel for leaving and thank you for watching.